Okay, I'm gonna do a real quick video. No fuss, no muss. Hey there, welcome back. So what I have done is I have planted broccoli, but as a companion planting thing, I am going to be planting this. This is some seed that I collected. This is arugula, dirty hands, um, in between the broccoli. And then uh, I'm probably going to be planting some bush beans in there as well. Now this is where we have our grapes, our table grapes. We have muscadine over there. This is where we have purple and green table grapes. So um, I think I might plant some mustard in there as well. I'm just not sure. But this is what it looks like right now. I filled up that trench with compost and then I'm planting my plants and my seeds right into that. I'm not covering that up with any kind of soil. It's, it's, it's actually sprinkling right now, so on to the next one. I am patting this, this down. I don't want these seeds to get lost under a, so this is my homemade compost, so it's not real fine right now, but I wouldn't want it to get lost under something like that, so. Ah, I just dropped, that's what happens. <laughs> I just dropped a bunch of seed right here. Oh well, it comes up there, it's fine. Okay, now I'm just gonna go down this row and I'm gonna finish up. Okay, well it started raining. So I guess I'm gonna finish up there for the day and I will probably plant some bush beans. So I have a fumigant, that's the arugula. I have my centerpiece, my main crop, that's the broccoli. And one of the reasons that I planted it in that bed, um, why I decided to plant that broccoli in that bed, and I have more broccoli that I'm gonna plant throughout the landscapes, um, is because I saw a ton of ladybugs there the last two years. So, and they loved the arugula. The ladybugs love the arugula, but the arugula is actually also a fumigant that will confuse the pests. It's not like it's just a row of broccoli. It's actually, um, whew, had a breath. I had to run, go put the tractor up real quick. But um, it actually attracts the ladybugs. For whatever reason, I don't know, but I saw a bunch of ladybugs in there breeding. <laughs> so, yeah. And you know, it's the arugula is in the mustard family. And um, I see that in Napa, they actually plant mustard as a companion crop with their grapes for making the wine and stuff. I'm not really sure why, but probably the same reasons that I talked about. If anybody knows that, I would love to hear about it. Put it in the comments. But I need to cut out now because uh, Ace and I are gonna go get a load of mulch. So, um, let's see. Oh, I, uh, along that front row, I will be planting some flowers. I guess I'll do that in another video, but I will be planting something that will be attracting the pollinators. Now, the uh, arugula, when it goes to flower, it's going to attract a lot of pollinators, but I'm probably going to be planting something else in there so that I have something insectary. I have something fumigant. I have a nitrogen fixer. And if you've been listening to the podcast for any length of time, you know how I feel about dynamic accumulation. Uh, it's not that I don't believe it's a real thing. I do believe it's a real thing. It's just that I believe everything dynamically accumulates. So I just don't worry about dynamic accumulators as far as an establishment guild goes. So yeah, I haven't decided what I'm gonna plant. I love sweet alyssum, that's one of my favorites, but it's kind of hard to find right now, and I didn't buy any seeds for a sweet alyssum this year, and I didn't collect any seeds last year, so I'm kind of bummed about that, but I'll find some kind of pretty little flower that I can put in there, maybe borage or Roman chamomile or um, sunflowers, something that uh, is insectary. Now, the oregano that's on the other side of, I guess I'll run out there, we'll run out there in the rain together. I think it's lightened up a little bit, 
but that oregano is about to put off a lot of flowers. So, and then we have the oregano on the other side of the grapes. So that's also another fumigant and it shelters. It's such a good beneficial ground cover. It's kind of like a little sub shrub. It, um, it, uh, what's the word? It shelters uh, a lot of ground beetles and spiders. So, uh, yeah. So I have oregano everywhere. If you can't tell, if you, you don't know me by now, you know oregano is one of my favorite plants. And when it starts to flower, and I show you some pictures of that, you'll see why. Uh, it's just so easy, it's so beautiful. Anyway, so, yep, I'm gonna run out there and I'll show you a picture of the grapes, okay? We're gonna, let's go out to the rain. Okay, so here's the back side of the, um, this is what I call a grape arbor. <laughs> I don't know what you call this. Uh, put in the comments below if you know what this is called, but we have these guide wires that we put on with turnbuckles and then we have them staked down, but here's our grapes. Um, I'm not sure which one this is. I would have to look at my, my plan, but uh, this one's growing. I thought that this one was dead, but it came back. And then we have another one there and another one there. And we have another one right here. I really thought this was, was dead too, but I see, I see little grapes coming up right there. So, but yeah, these produced last year. Um, and then I thought they all died. So I'm not sure. I'm not a big, I, I'm not a big grape expert. Somebody gave them to me or somebody said, hey, do you want these? And I was not about to turn that down. <laughs> I am not opposed to planting in rows, you know, like they would do like a row of petunias. It's good for the flow. It brings the eye in. So if you're walking in from over there, there's the gate, there's the house, there's Ace. Say hi, Ace. <laughs> but if you're walking from the path over here, it just draws the eye in and it says, what is at the end of that? So, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that will do it for this one. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell if you haven't already done so, and it'll alert you whenever I put up a new video. All right, y'all stay safe out there. Bye for now. Maybe I'll put some basil in there. I have plenty, I think, to go with all of my tomatoes. I might even do some peppermint. Let's see. Um, don't want any more oregano over there, I don't think. Maybe some sweet mint. Um, not zinnias. Let's see. Not moonflower. Oh, yeah, snapdragons. Forget-me-nots. I might do these snapdragons or forget-me-nots in there. Okay. Still have to find a place for this orach and the red roselle hibiscus let's see the dinosaur kale the scarlet kale the um purslane and yeah